Well, the show is kind of about my time working, we started to be working as a music journalist. It's about me becoming obsessed with the future. I'm writing previews for up and coming bands. And so I spend a lot of my time writing about things that haven't even happened yet. Gigs that haven't occurred, bands have only just formed. And I share an office with a Daily Mail. This is a story about how I picked a fight with time itself. Right, okay, let's get started then. I take a, a time capsule on stage with me and try and encourage members of the public to put stuff in it and try and create kind of new versions of their own future. You know, give tiny gifts to their future selves. More reason sounds a bit like Morrison's. It's where the slogan comes from. Randy Newman was joking. There really was a yellow pages. If it's not still around, that means it's probably a vampire. You know, I retail Little Red Riding Hood. 23 places below the original in the dictionary. And like that, that was like a really, um, yeah, I was very, very proud of, uh, of, 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 of that. It's just really, really silly, but it's a piece that like, I really, really enjoy doing and like, and it's got like good feedback here too. Once upon a time bomb, there were some swirling, liverish gizmos, known as the liverish, red-blooded riff raff hoo one day, their mothership approached and said, Come, liverish rebel and riffraff hoo -ha. Here is a piece of calcifer and a bottleneck of winkle pickers. And so one of the really important things for me was kind of creating that kind of blend of doing like a poetry show, but then also kind of keeping in it, like, it's a story at heart, but then also having like a bit of stand-up and working with filmmakers as well. 